The next morning, Bear woke up early, long before the sun was up. It was the very beginning of the break of dawn when Bear sat up and started to sing. He was singing softly to himself, sort of humming. Then he got up and stretched himself and went to the spring to wash his face. He started a campfire while it was yet all dark. Then he started to cook breakfast. He was heating stones, small, round stones. Mother, what was he singing? Who is that man, he said, was coming over the mountains from the east, singing with the daylight? Oh, he was singing about his shadow. That song is what the shadow sings, your shadow also. You must make him sing that way in the morning. Everyone's shadow comes home in the dawn, singing like that. What do you mean, comes home? Sure, he comes home to you, your shadow does. You are his home. But where has he been? Oh, he's been going around during the night, visiting, going places, and in the morning he comes home to you. Does he always come? No. Sometimes he gets lost. That's why your father was singing. We are in a strange place. His shadow might be wandering around looking for him. But if the shadow hears him singing, he says to himself, Oh, that's me over there. That's where I belong. And if he gets lost, what happens then? Well, then you get sick and you die. You can't keep living without your shadow. Fox Boy thought a moment, then he said, But Father is not going to die, because he's singing and his shadow must have heard him. I'd better sing too, so my shadow will hear me. Do you think you can remember the song? Listen, we'll sing it together. The words are, I'm coming, I'm coming over the mountains, I come home. I'm coming, I'm coming, with the daylight I come home. I'm coming, I'm coming, from the east I come home. Now look, we'd better get up and help Bear cook breakfast. So they got up and washed their faces at the spring. Then Antelope took some acorn flour and made a mush. Then she picked up some hot stones from the fire with a couple of sticks and dropped them into the mush, which was in a small basket. The hot stones made a hissing sound. Whish, whish, whish. Pretty soon the mush was bubbling and boiling. Little Fox Boy couldn't wait. He put his two fingers in the mush. Ouch! he yelled, jumping up and down, shaking his fingers. Well, why don't you wait and let it cool a little? Nobody is going to take it away from you. Take your time, take your time. It never was that people couldn't wait a minute. Watch me, watch how I do it. Now Antelope deftly scooped some mush with her fingers two of her fingers and licked them off quickly just like that that's the way to do it she said oh i can do that myself said fox he was so quick that he smeared his nose with the mush and they all laughed breakfast over they rolled up their things shouldered their packs and started traveling again tross 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 up the trail Tross, 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 down the trail. Tross, 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 along the trail. They traveled all day, and that night they made their camp by a little stream. And Fox Little Boy crawled in between Bear and Antelope under the rabbit skin blanket and was soon fast asleep.